now i'm going to scare you with some formula okay this is called as a standard deviation we have got from huge set of marbles some set of marbles and uh, this is x bar okay xi is each and every distance of each and every marble x bar is the mean of the or the center okay and summation don't bother about this formula okay if you are a mathematician you can understand this otherwise don't worry about it this bigger is also called as sigma but that capital sigma is called as summation where i is equal to 110 just um, uh, remember this because these formulas directly computers will give this results so don't worry about that okay so all i want to know is in sample we call n minus 1 and in population we write it as n xi are individual observations and x bar is the average of the sample and n is called as a sample size okay what i mean by xi means x1 x2 x3 x4 if there are 10 biscuits first biscuit second biscuit third biscuit fourth biscuit and x bar is the average of all the biscuits and n is sample size which is 10 biscuits and if x bar okay the average weight of 10 biscuits is is say for example 25 grams okay some biscuits might be 24 grams some biscuits might be 26 grams so you find out the difference square it add all that divided by n minus 1 will give you the standard deviation but you de- you need not worry about this formula okay the software will give you okay so this is the common question i i would have conducted almost uh, more than 200 300 sessions on lean and six eight months a common question why n why n minus 1 okay uh, n minus 1 it's called degrees of freedom this is a little bit of mathematics which i don't want to share in this forum okay so if it is a population if you have 130 crores of people in india then minus 1 does not make any difference but if you are talking about 100 minus 1 means that's called degrees of freedom last time i had explained suppose if the average of 10 biscuits is 25 grams and you know the weight of 9 biscuits can you calculate the weight of the 10th biscuit the average weight of 10 biscuits is so with 9 biscuits you can calculate the 10th biscuit and so 9 is nothing but 10 minus 1 sample size is 10 and 9 this is called degrees of freedom and this is a deeper mathematical concept so let us not dive deep in it doesn't help to understand this so deeply okay and that's why we leave it like that we will use the formula and we will find out okay now again this is what you need to understand there is something called as specification limit which is decided by the customer for example if my biscuit should be 25 grams in weight the customer wants or the soap should be 50 g soap okay you want it should be plus or minus 1 g maybe suppose if you are buying 5 g of gold what is the specification that you expect can you get exactly 5 g of gold no no it's not possible to get 5 g of gold right okay what is the specification you will agree to if it is 5 g of gold okay average should be 5 g okay but what is the specification you can agree to just for the sake of i'm using the word gold because it's so precious okay 0.1 1 mg okay say 5.001 or 4.999 okay yeah 5 plus or minus 0 whatever it is my point is this okay if you are buying 100 gold coins okay you have a specification limit okay so the sigma level so gold coin probably uh, i used this because it's so sensitive you are you care for it suppose if instead of gold biscuits you buy normal biscuits for eating okay suppose if it is 50 g biscuit a biscuit which you can eat okay 5 g so the point that i'm trying to say here is you take 50 biscuits you calculate the average weight of that 50 biscuits and if you say my biscuit should weigh between 48 grams to 52 grams and the average is say 49 grams okay so upper specification limit minus x bar x bar is 49 grams and upper specification limit is how much 52 grams so 52 minus 49 or 49 minus 48 and whatever standard deviation that comes with that formula and we are going to see some examples in this okay 
don't worry about that we will calculate the sigma levels using this formula now calculating the sigma level and calculating the process capability is almost the same only difference is three standard deviations 